What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought myself this retractable license plate stand. It's by Show and Go, by from Alltech, I guess. I uh, picked it up on Amazon. It's a way to really um, display your front license plate and then hide it. Now, there are a number of these types of things on the market. There it is, Universal Fit 400U. Uh, and as I unbox it, I want to just kind of share with you the reason I got this one. It's because it was the cheapest one, literally, that I could find. This is a not an automatic, it's a manual license plate holder. And while this won't be the full review now, it's just a first look because I kind of wanted to take a look at it, see what it's going to take to install it, but uh, it might be a little while before I get it on my prowler. And this thing was like in the $30 range. So as you know, or you may not know, if you look at these license plate hold, retractable holders that have remotes and a electric motor on them they tend to be in the hundred and a half range and that just seemed like a lot for me uh, in Illinois you do have to have a front license plate and a couple of questions that I was kind of curious about is one will this work is it going to be robust enough to hold the license plate Two, you know when it's the license plate is deployed and showing on the car is it uh, sturdy enough to be able to drive with it will the wind resistance against the license plate you know kind of ruin the thing and then you know how hard is it to install etc cetera, etc cetera. so uh you know, and then the, the last thing is how far out does it need to stick because obviously you need this track to kind of come out and clear the car so the, the license plate holder will flip up and uh, clear like the bumper or the front lip or the front fascia or whatever you might have now um, just taking a look here it says jack up the car mark and drill some holes on the bottom looks like then you're going to um, push rubber expanding nuts into the holes and then uh, use the machine screws to fasten it all in um, I'm still actually not sure oh okay I was not sure what this like galvanized strip was and it looks like it's for bracing the back end so you, you would bend it as needed and kind of brace it up you know on another piece of the fascia or the back of the bumper or to the body or something like that because it looks like you know if it's just attached here to the front of the 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 bumper because those are mostly plastic the thing could wobble around so this 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 back piece is to kind of give it some additional bracing so let's just take a look here we have a package here we have a couple of these um look like foam pads with sticky tape with double sided tape on one side here are these plastic washers I believe they're just little tubes. Oops, hard to see them here. Little plastic washers. So that's where you're going to drill the hole, and then you're going to push these in. And then I believe you're going to use these screws to screw into the washer, and that's going to expand that washer out and kind of hold it in place. And we have a number of screws here. Maybe these black screws are what you use. And then we also have some machine screws here uh, with some, a couple of nuts and then some kind of retaining strips here. So, all that's to be figured out, but here's why you came. You wanted to see this. First of all, it's kind of interesting. Um, this is all like a nylon, a plastic. It looks like kind of an ABS plastic of some sort. You can see that the license plate holder is just slightly bowed. Not sure why that is, but uh, it seems to kind of hug the, the track there pretty well. Looks like we have a couple of um, extra bumps here, so when you screw in the license plate, so I'm kind of assuming that these are the screws for screwing the license plate to the holder, and then these are the screws and bolts for mounting it to the car. So you can see we do have a couple of recessed areas here, two main screw holes and then two in the bottom. So here's a license plate that I have. I just want to pull it in here. You can see how much of a bow that has. And then yeah, those holes seem to line up if I move them, line them up a little bit better. And then even on the bottom, lines up pretty well and then your license plate will have a little bit of a convex shape. But this seems pretty robust. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And it's light, you know, it's trying to keep it as light as possible. And then what we have here is the track. And as you can see, it has a full slot on either side. And then the license plate, these two, you know, flanges come here, out here, and then there's like a cross bolt. And so what it'll do here is it should slide. This is how it'd be mounted under the car, license plate facing the ground. Then it'll slide, and as you can see, we have a spring clip, just like every other type of clip. 
and that kind of holds it up. Now, this seems to be pretty sturdy. I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, definitely, the spring is decently strong, and I don't feel like, you know, even though it's only being braced with whatever the sheet metal is that's pressed against the plastic here, it seems pretty robust, so I'm pretty impressed with that. And then you, it's not overly loaded, so it's easy to fold down. And then you just kind of push it back in, and the action here is pretty nice. Um, the other thing that I really do like about it is that when you push this license plate all the way back, you can see that you have maybe about an inch and a quarter of extra lip here. And that's because you need, you know, let's say this is the front of the car, you need the, the track to extend past the edge of the car because not only is the license plate holder gonna flip up and obviously have to sit outside of it, but it's also angled back just a little bit. So you don't want this, you don't want any of this touching the car or wearing on the paint. So you're gonna have to make sure that you know, it, it clears the car and I'd say you probably would want, you know, probably that full inch and a half or, you know, more, depending on the shape of your car, to stick out. Um, and so you'll have a little bit of this sticking out, which is not a bad trade-off, I think. Um, I will say I could just kind of jam my finger on this the spring sticking out there when I close it up. That won't be an issue once this is underneath the car, but it was when I had my hand right there. And so now you pull it out and deploy it. Um, you can see that you've got some screw holes here so you can mount everything up. And then like I said, this galvanized piece of tin here um, to brace this back end uh, to make it flush as well. So I think low tech, but the cool thing is you don't need to worry about batteries. You don't need to wire it in your fuse box. And yes, is it, uh, if you're driving without a license plate, yes, you won't be able to deploy it on demand. You know, I notice guys are like, yeah, if I get pulled over, I'll hit the remote and deploy my license plate. Maybe that's a little too late. But if you do take your car to shows, you take it out and you just want to hide that license plate without, you know, having some sort of um, kind of temporary mechanism or magnet or something like that. Uh, it still does the job. It just means you're gonna have to get in and out of your car. So for me, this is great because if I drive downtown, um, that's really the only place I get really antsy about the front license plate when it's parked at a meter They will write you up in minutes for not having your front license plate So it allows me to drive the car downtown deploy my license plate and uh, roam the city without any issues without any fear of Reprisal and tickets. So there's the first look. I'll put a link to in the description if you want to pick it up. Peter Von Panda out